Hello friends, hope all of you are fine. Today we are going to learn how to make time series by Mac. To do that, just click on new file or you can press Ctrl plus N on the keyboard and this window will appear on your screen. Then select time series. blank time series uh, usually we do provide non equidistant calendar axis you can give a title here suppose what the level of dish Kali Let me show you my time series. See, there is two time series. One is water level at foreign data at uh, 500 chains, and another one is uh, Bishkali 89,000 chains and water level. So we will make a time series for foreign data 500 chains. See, uh, in each date there is a corresponding water level and uh, between uh, each uh, the difference between two date is only half an hour and it is constant throughout the time so it is uh, though it's a, it is equidistant but we always uh, like to uh, do um, we always uh, prefer uh, to make time series in non equidistant calendar axis just select this Control C, copy. No, not now. See the first date. It is uh, 1 Suppose it's doing data name The type you have to define here water level Water it's not water depth, it is water level. So here we go. Meter is all the thing is fine. The number of time states yeah. you can give anything, but uh, okay, let's try water level at coin data. Two title may be different. Now from your Excel just copy these two column and click in this box where the pointer is uh, moving in the box in this box click here and just paste control V it's pasting on it Oh, there are so many data, 56,571, 56,000 data, that's why it is taking time, okay, it is already copied, by time series uh, file, you can check the quality of the data and um, you can use time series for many purposes. Suppose you want to give uh, upstream or downstream water level condition as boundary for your model, you can give it. Now save it. Uh, holding data.
now your time series has been prepared see after uh, 10th rows uh, it is uh, uh, it is shown that it is inactive but after if you just close this window and reopen it we have just made this uh, time series here uh, it is okay so that's not a big issue suppose we want to add another column under this time series you can do it by clicking right click on the map properties insert if you have uh, discharge data suppose you have discharge data or you have, uh, you have any other data can be stored here uh, corresponding to this uh, time or date suppose we have discharge data that is q discharge so suppose in that time we have salinity value you can use salinity or we have discharge value you can give discharge discharge okay q Okay, see another blank column is created here just now. So, suppose we have a column of discharge. Suppose this is our discharge value, some arbitrary values. These are the arbitrary values I have just given here. Double click here, and some values have been produced throughout this time series so copy it suppose i want to add this column into my time series just copy it and paste over here see you are done though this value are not correct i'm just showing you for learning purpose that's the way actually to do it now i want to see only see the there are two uh, gra um, graphical plot in this graph in the left side mm -hmm. one is for water level and the one is for discharge suppose i want to uh, i don't want to see the discharge discharge plot mm -hmm. then select item right click and, select it, and uncheck the queue okay now only the water level is shown suppose you want to uh, zoom in uh, some specific portion of your or plot just right click zoom in drag it on your mouse by clicking on it it will be zoomed in see it will be zoomed in the water level condition here tidal so you are seeing the fluctuation in the water level in the regular this uh, water level is fluctuating in regular basis. One is high tide, one is low tide, as it is on the tidal uh, river. So, suppose this value you want to change. Suppose you select here, the red box is shown that value. You can change the value manually here. Or suppose uh, you 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 see a spike in your <coughs> plot or any unusual value, uh, then you can just select this point. You can go to directly in this point and you can change the value as you like. So by editing mode, you can do this type of things. I will show later uh, this thing. But suppose you want to move. automatically the value will be changed here you can move directly just by moving this point you can delete this point or you can uh, calculate suppose i1 is uh, horingata that is water level and i2 is q dishes there are 56 560000 data current expression suppose i 
I want to change uh, every water level value. Suppose my water level value is in MSL data and uh, I want to convert it into meter PWD data, then uh, just I want I one plus one four six subsidies yes all data have been selected select all okay now this I want in every value the value point four six will be added and it will be uh, shown in the new column not new column in this column uh, it will be updated actually see the value have been updated and it is 0.46 have been uh, has been added with each value of foreign data water level that's how you can use this tool in time series okay that's all about uh, dfs file making and uh, i hope this uh, video is useful